All right, folks, today we are going to be reviewing the Vevor surface preparation tool. Yes, I said that all fancy surface prep. Basically, for cleaning up your surface, so that way it's like ready for you to do the next thing, whatever that might be. Um, but we're going to be testing this on a few different things. We're going to be testing this both on a painted surface and we're also going to be testing this on uh, to make live edge. So this is actually going to be kind of fun. Uh, so definitely stick with us on that. Uh, but before we get any further, don't forget to hit that like button if you're liking this video. Subscribe and hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos. In the meantime, let's get to the review. Okay, so this is a basic idea of like what comes in the box. So we have our primary unit here. This is what we're going to be uh, using to actually do all the operating. It's a lot like a uh, kind of like almost like a cutoff kind of a tool, but uh, way longer shaft on there, as you can see. Uh, it has a little uh, safety uh, deal here to keep you from throwing stuff back in your face. It comes with a full kit of hardware uh, that to go and assemble the device. So we got uh, wrenches and Allen keys and all those fun things that you need in order to be able to put something like this together. Got a little handle here for uh, controlling. Probably again, probably more for metalworking, but we'll see how that does on woodworking. Actually, you know, this actually probably be good for woodworking, so let's not discount that. And then we have, we got, uh, these are actually pretty bristly, uh, and I think these are gonna do really good at uh, going and cutting away some of the wood and giving us some live edge look. So that's my theory on this. We'll see how that goes. Uh, ultimately, you can use these for polishing wood and stuff like that if you want to, if you get different grits. But um, this one seems like it's pretty coarse, so I think this one's going to probably be a little bit better for cutting. But we'll see. And it actually includes four of these in the box, so uh, that's kind of nice. But that's kind of a general overview. It does come with a little instruction manual. Um, just kind of mostly safety stuff it seems to be in here. Uh, and they kind of just tell you what not to do to get your fingers injured and then a little diagram of how it works. So not really any true instructions on there on like how to assemble the device per se, but that's okay because this doesn't seem to be all that complicated to begin with. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this thing together and then uh, let's go and test it. Okay, so we've got it all set up. So ready to rock, got even the extra handle on here. So now we're gonna go ahead and try it out on my workbench. Uh, as our first test and uh, see how it does. Uh, this will basically be stripping paint and other substances that I've gotten on there. So let's go ahead and try that out, see how that works and uh, go from there. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and test out and see if we can actually make this live edge with just these little guys that came in the box. We're gonna see how that actually works right now. All right, so you got a chance to see the Vevor uh, surface prepping uh, device uh, tool. Really nice little device. Um, do I think this is good for woodworking? Well, yeah, I mean, we were able to get some good live edge out of it. Um, we could strip paint with it. Um, I can think of a ton of different applications like trying to get a dining table ready, things like that. Uh, it just is, it's gonna handle all those things. It's gonna do it well. And it actually does really well with these uh, that come right in the box. So uh, this you can see here, this isn't like super, super aggressive, but it's aggressive enough, you know, to actually get the job done. So overall, do I think it's a good buy? Well, I think it's a nice luxury tool because you could always do it with a sander, but I will tell you this about a sander. Sanders work really well. They just don't have the curvature that this is gonna have. So this is gonna definitely make a much better type of thing. And this is way safer than a lot of the live edge uh, tool stuff that I've seen that they have like for angle grinders, which I know this is a lot like an angle grinder, but has a lot of safeties and stuff like that in place to kind of keep your fingers away from what this is doing. And since this is made out of a non-metallic 
type of a, a thing unless you replace it with one of the metallic ones. You don't really have to worry about uh, the severe hand injuries that have a tendency to come along with these. So that's actually pretty awesome. Um, it's got a neat, lot of neat little things on here. You know, you have your trigger button. Uh, you have this button here, which is actually designed to hold your trigger in. So that way you can just keep grinding away. I didn't really find that I like that when doing live edge, but if I was doing like a whole table surface, yeah, definitely would want to use that. Um, adjustable here goes all the way to whatever six is. Um, I believe that's, uh, it's, uh, let's see here, it's uh, 3000 RPM or is that right? I don't know. It's a lot. I'll post it up here on the screen. Whatever you see here on the screen, that's how fast that goes. Um, so anyway, needless to say, this thing's pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, um, yeah. if you're planning on doing like a lot of live edge type of stuff, or you're gonna be doing a lot of surface preparation to go and clean up a table or whatever it is you're working on, um, this is a great tool. And they actually have this right now running for right around about $80 as of the posting of this video. Um, I've seen Harbor Freight, which, you know, Harbor Freight can be a little questionable sometimes on tool quality, especially with stuff like this. And they're running like 139 and they're the cheapest deal out there. So ultimately, this is a great buy. Um, it's cheap, it's, it's well built. I mean, everything about it's good. It's got good weight and everything. It kind of does its own thing. You just kind of have to keep it in place and that's it. So overall, I'd say this one's a win. So definitely uh, check out the links down below. Uh, we definitely have some Amazon links down below on this product where you can get it and uh, all that fun stuff. So on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos. In the meantime, stay safe in the shop.